Okay. Uh, so I don't know exactly what this game is about. Um, it's an adventure. That's that's uh, what I know. Can I click things here? No. Aw. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Joku, hi! Oh, it has lovely music, though. I don't want to hear voices. That's good. Is it loud for you guys, the music? Can you still hear me? Whoa! <laughs> it's me every time. I wonder. The music seems a little bit overpowering. Yeah. Okay, so... That should be good. Hold on. Let me fix it in there, cause there. Da da da. Boop. I turned it down a lot. Okay, I think that's better now. Hey, Stone Melf. Hi. <laughs> Oh, well, uh, we can fiddle, fiddle with it later. <laughs> oh. I awoke to the sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedge of Locked. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. Creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. A little ingenuity. <laughs> I love his accent. Imperialist! Thank you for the sub! And hello! <laughs> Hi! Thank you so much! Uh, ingenuity, eh? What's this? Oh, items, notes. Oh, I need to get dressed without waking Lily. And hints. Interesting. Okay, that's good to know. It does look nice, doesn't it? Hello. Lily was a sprawl of limbs, and my sweater was pinned beneath her. Oh. I needed to find a way to roll her over without waking her. Okay. Morning, Dougal. Dougal? It's like Boogle. <gasps> it's alive again! Thank you for converting your prime gaming sub into a you know into a normal sub. Thank you! <laughs> Stick. Dougal. Boogle? <laughs> hey, Dougal. Give me that stick, boy. Stick. I was to get that stick from Dougal. I had to time it just right. Okay, for me, the voices seem a little bit low. Hold on. I need to fiddle with it for January. Anyway. There. Oh, enjoy your emotes, by the way. Because the Halloween emotes are in. My boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. This wasn't my first rodeo. Is this your trousers? My trousers were just out of reach. No, they're not. You can just stand on this and stand on that, and then the floor is lava. No, What's I this? couldn't leave. I wasn't even dressed yet. Oh my goodness. Um. If I was to get that stick from Dougal, I had to time it just right. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yoink. <laughs> okay. I have a stick. I have a stick. Yay. 
that one. Oh, can I get my treasures that way? Yes. Aha! Huh? Yeah. Lily made a fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Ew. But... Can I give it to you for some reason? Ew. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> Half a sandwich? I wasn't about to start throwing food around the room. Without a good reason, at least. Okay. Oh, that stinks. Um, I want to get the dog over there, so she turns over. He sounds Australian. Yeah, a bit. Oh, that stinks. I couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still pulling it. Is there anything else? I still have a stick. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches, ah. but I was still out of reach. I should be able to get the trajectory right. Ah. Get it. He wasn't going to just let me take it, but maybe he'd be interested in the trade. Oh, that is a half eaten sandwich on the. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, this is where I stick. So. I wondered if I could swap the sweater for the stick without him even noticing. Haha! <laughs> okay. Can I get my boots? Boot? Check. Okay. <laughs> That was my cue to sneak out of there. Go. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. Okay. Uh, that's a lovely house, by the way. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. What? Who is this Lily? <laughs> Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. Hey, Peaceside Rovers, thank you for the follow yesterday. I saw that. <laughs> and yes, I needed a cute point and click adventure as well today. So you're in luck. <laughs> Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fluffy McNew! Fluffy! <laughs> Arthur's room? Is that... That's not your room, is it? What is your name again? I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. And um, where did you put that? Wait, I should not... Ask those things. Nope, never mind, chat. Never mind. <laughs> <sighs> Dad, where are you? Oh, Arthur's dead. Okay. Chatty bear. We have lots of stuff in here. The rollerblades of Dad's transmitter were visible from his bedroom window. Transmitter? It looked like he had rifled through his belongings in a hurry. Either that, or Lily had been searching for clues. Where is my dad? <laughs> Lily left Sir Fuzzlepuff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her grandfather. Sir Fuzzlepuff? Oh my god, that's adorable. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Uh. Eh. Okay. Okay. Hello. Ah, oh, Stone Ralph! Gift to yourself to Fluffy McNoob! Thank you so much, Stone Ralph! Fluffy McNoob, enjoy your tiny dino emotes! They're really spooky! I know, right? Why does the dad always leave? Why? Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but I hadn't figured out what. Uh, well, the notes 
clearly said H2O, so I guess water goes in there? I don't want to be rude, but I just mean... I don't know what else to do, but... <laughs> I can at least do that. Mm. Nah. What? What do you mean, nah? The funnel allowed for coolant to be added. Yeah, I have that. Hello? No? Alright, alright. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. Yes. So we used the water in there? I don't think that would have helped. Oh, it's empty. <clears throat> well, that that would have been, you know, that, well, shut up, Chet. <laughs> Dad left his jacket behind. <laughs> Sometimes his work would make him forget the little things, like wearing a jacket outside or eating. Is it an Irish accent? Because it's some, a little dark, so I thought it was Australian. I don't know. I have to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. Ooh. Interesting. So my dad is an adventurer? Inventor? I don't know. Irish. I, I have trouble with, with um, uh, accents sometimes. So I could go over there. What does the dog do? I think you relocated so he won't be responsible for waking Lily. No. You and me both, buddy. Um. Let's explore inside some more, and then we probably have to go outside for water. <clears throat> or we use this. Maybe not. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Duck. Oh, that's the uh, transmitter. Oh, and there's a water pump. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. During those times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Okay. Stump. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. <gasps> Look at that view. With the sheepies. This is definitely Ireland. Hey, Zalira! Hi! <laughs> I needed something to collect the water first. No, I have that. Trust me. We're, we're good. I have it. Ta-da! Water. Ah! Well then. The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. Ah... Uh. Well, just don't break it. Have you thought about that? <laughs> oh, wait. I was wondering what that was meant. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. What is? The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... to? Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. <laughs> okay. What is this? Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd only spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering. But it had been days, and there was no sign of him. Okay, is the door open? The door wasn't locked, but something was blocking on the other side. Oh, can I go anywhere else? No. Well, that works. Cool. Okay, hello. Ooh, a pitchfork. Hello. It looked <gasps> like the pitchfork had fallen from its I resting said place. Ah, Geneva! Thank you! Oh my goodness, seven months! Uh, don't ask that, Far Walker. The door opens, it's fine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> but yes, I was wondering that too. Thank you, Geneva. Enjoy your emotes. 
<laughs> I can't believe it's seven months. Oh my goodness, that's like the same thing for thing. six, but okay. The idea of walking around a room in the dark where my father invented things made me nervous. Uh, sorry, what? I couldn't see a thing. And the idea of walking around a room in the dark where my father invented things ah. made me nervous. It makes me nervous too, but it's okay. Uh, so we need a light of some sort. The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's <laughs> generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Thank you, Geneva, for the host. Thank you. <laughs> um. So what do we have? We have a mask and a pitchfork. Interesting. But we have the water, so the transmitter <clears throat> might do that first. Also, need to check out the front door. Let's see. Go on. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, so probably the, what we saw in the air uh, in the beginning, that was the shed. Maybe? My father had notions to turn to farming when he left his job. He never could leave science behind. Science. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport and definitely didn't require any modifications, despite what my father said. <laughs> Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from the house. Genius. And it will probably work wonderfully. I know, little mouse, it's so cute. <laughs> Mail? Oh. <clears throat> Dear Aiden, thank you for your application for the position of repair clerk at Boyle and Sons. I appreciate I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably have decided not to offer you a position at this time. Oh, well, I have no doubt that someone with your military engineering experience would be capable of your role. I should think you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation. Perhaps at the new hydroelectric dam with your father? So, let's check that. I wish you every success in, in your future endeavors. Kindest regards, Sean Boyle, owner and manager. Okay. Strange light? The Independent Times. Unemployment rates and immigration on the rise. Rumors about regarding strange lights in the countryside. I, we know nothing about that. Right? An end to patrol rationing. Or petrol, sorry. End to petrol rationing inside. I don't know. Oh, it's a package for my father. <gasps> Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I hope this was worth giving up your job for. I'm still finding hello. the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. Who is Nina? Also, beside Romans, thank you for the sub. Thank you so much. And enjoy your emotes. They're very spooky. <laughs> thank you so much. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. I couldn't help but wonder if it had anything to do with him going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. This game reminds me somewhat of Thorin's passage. I had so much fun with that. Like, even the dog's name it is Dougal, but it reminds me of Boogle, who was a cat by the way. I hope the developers were inspired. Um, by that game. I really do. I know that game was awesome. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. 
It was Anya's favorite place to have a picnic. Aww. Oh, there's something. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Oh, okay. <gasps> Drone Reno! Hi! <laughs> uh, uh, what am I? No, why do I have notes? I need to hit that bump hard with something. Okay. A pitchfork? Will that do? I, I don't know. <laughs> Loud noises, Drone Reno! <laughs> <laughs> um hold on. I would say a hammer, but I haven't seen a hammer yet. Panic! No! Oh I'm pretty raised. I am so with you. I would live here. I don't care. I would live here. It looks lovely. Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire, for now at least. I'd yeah. recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing. Okay, so we don't need that. Uh... Now one day I'll live in a superior grand house or just a, you know, an amazing house. Oh, hello. Dad's compactable footstool seemed like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Huh? Oh wow! <laughs> Pocket size, um, and I'll have chickens and fruit trees, and it'll be wonderful. One day, one day. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can hit this pump with because I need that water. Can I hit it with a pitchfork? The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself cookie! to make it handle. What a cookie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dances with Belverins, thank you for the 100 bits, thank you so much! Cookies for everyone! <laughs> thank you, that's so sweet! Can I scare it into working? I've had better ideas. Well, it's, don't be rude! Can I use this? There's a solid block of wood next to the pump. Okay, but can I use it? There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. I know, but can I use it? <laughs> can I use it with this? And then make some... Ah, Yet yes. Yet another impressive feat of engineering. And now hit it with the... Oh, look, I made a hammer. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, well, well. Ready? Well, well, well. Urgh. <laughs> okay, well we did that. Cool. Uh, let's do that first. Okay, so I see how how this game is gonna do things. I have to keep my eye out in there. Uh... Oh my goodness! Ah, that is a bell raise. Thank you so much for the five hundred bits. Even more cookies, and and tiny doggos. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you! Yeah, and he just throws the hammer away. I know, right? Oh, I guess we don't need it anymore. Thank you! <laughs> uh, oh, I need to go here. Thank you so much! Tiny Dogos! Yes, in chat! See, look at the bits. That's so cute! What are they? Corgis! Little Dark Sun! There's Corgis in chat! <gasps> A lamp! Shortly after resigning from his position at the hydroelectric power station, Dad set up a few light bulbs in his room. They were connected to a machine which appeared overly complex for the purpose of powering a few bulbs. <laughs> yep, little Arkham found them. Beside Romans, do you like corgis too? Oh my goodness, you guys in chat you just need to pair up together and, and, and just pine over corgis for a little bit. Now look at their fluffy wiggle butts. Okay, now I can do this, right? Yes? There, that should keep it cool. Oh my goodness, that's the best for me! Just one more corgi. One more. Thank you so much. Uh, wait, did I put it in? I, okay, I guess I did. Uh, it looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. 
does it? Is it this? Let's see. Hmm, it fits. Huh? What? It's glowing. What? Again? What? What is happening? <laughs> okay, slow down, dance <laughs> from Alfred. Slow down. <laughs> you don't have to alert. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rolton! Hi! Um, okay, hold on. I do need to focus. I don't want to solve this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Three. Is it four? Right? Yes. Three and four. Oh! What? It doesn't show anything else? No. Interesting. I have no clue what this says. Strange symbols. The whole wall was covered in writing. Okay. likes cookies. Good. You'll fit right in. <laughs> Thanks again. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this, by the way. <coughs> Sorry. I'm just clicking random stuff. Does it always go out on a bit? Yes. Yep. Okay. With the machine generating power, there was some writing on the wall made visible by the light of the bulbs. Okay, now you really have to calm sunlight, down. Though. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So much excitement. Uh, I should go to the shed. Yes. Uh, hold on. What With the machine see? generating power. There was some writing on the wall made visible by the light of the bulbs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Some of it was obscured by sunlight, though. Oh. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> oh! Well, there you go. Cookie! <laughs> okay, that's the last one. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Elming. That is actually that is very good, very good. I I know you miss cookies, and and <laughs> yes, you broke me a bit. Now I forgot what this is. I can't focus anymore. <laughs> yeah. But hey, Elming, I'm proud of you. I am. Very much so. Okay, three, three, one. And then three, and three, and then one. <gasps> Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Okay. And all of this before breakfast, might I add. Okay. <sighs> oh, you put that back. Okay. No, I can't. I just, Shanna has broken me worse before, but let's not go there today. Please. I'm not gonna wake Lily. Nuh uh. <laughs> Okay, so that's working now. The machine was receiving power from within the house and was now transmitting something. Something. <clears throat> hello. Oh. I said hello. Thank you, Dennis for Belfries. <laughs> William Wall. 
Good morning! Seven months, dude! Thank you so much! Am I Dutch? All the stuff from Faxons is making me try to guess yours? Well, I'll keep guessing! Ah! Hail, Dark Sun! <laughs> yes, I'm Dutch. I am. Sure I'm enough, so much, so, so very much Dutch. Bye, this is Wolverines. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Ah, adventure. Exploration. What's this? There was a hand drawn map on the wall with two locations marked our house and the hydroelectric dam where Dad used to work. It is Ireland, see? Ah. Oh. Interesting. What is this? What is this? No, but I am, I am, I am a Dutch dinosaur. I am. Yep, yep, yep. What is this? Oh. Now you're broken. I'll find a way to blame it on the dog. <gasps> How could you? I'm liking you less and less. You threw away a hammer, now you broke stuff, and now you want to blame it on the dog? <gasps> Evil. Evil! Oh. The machine appeared to have opened by itself. No, you there broke it. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the step ladder. It is a tiny, tiny ladder, dude. It is, it is not that difficult to... Operates, but okay. <laughs> oh, thank you, B side. Thank you. It was one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. Mm. I wasn't sure why he hadn't given her this one, but I knew she'd be happy to have it. I'll give it to her when I see her. Um, what is this? Keyhole? Is this a transporter? Teleporter? What the machine this? appeared to be waiting for something. A uh, key? There was a small keyhole in the back. But like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. Oh, so it needs a carrot? I'm just guessing here. <laughs> the machine is making me think of the fly? Uh-oh, what's the fly? Is that a movie? Have I seen it? No. Don't go wasp me, huh? Uh, so we need a key of some sort. It's probably, it's probably in this box then, because it's a puzzle box. And if there's something in it, it might be a key of some sort. I'm guessing. Is the fly a scary movie? And if so, what's it about? Uh, I'm guessing a fly, but that would be. <gasps> it's a Jeff Goldblum in it. Now I must see it. What? I must. It's a horror film. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Is it really that scary? I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. It's horrifying. Oh, well, maybe not then. <laughs> I'll, I'll read a blurb about it, okay? A man turned to the human sized fly crazy. Oh! Interesting. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. Whenever yeah. possible, I try to avoid taking the blame for waking Lily. Oh, there's a remake of it too? So, I should watch the old, old one? I have a few very old scary movies. Like, The Thing. And... Uh, the Blob. I need to see those. The original was from the 30s? Now I have to really see it. I'm sorry. I, I love those, those very old... With the screaming ladies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've had better ideas. Shut up. 